Hello everybody, my name is Mark and welcome to my channel. I'm going to show you how to install a Micro Swiss all metal hot end on a Sunlu S8. I reached out to Micro Swiss and asked them if they can send me a kit so I can do a video on it and they agreed to it and I thank them for that. So I'm going to show you guys how to install it. I'm going to start with taking off off the shroud here and I already disconnected. I had some Capricorn tubing and I already took that off. I took the filament out, already heated up, took the filament out, took the Capricorn tubing out. So now I'm just taking the shroud off. I got the kit. It's for a CR10S. Well, it's for a CR10, CR10S, Ender 3 Pro, and all that. So, and they're all basically the same. Try not to damage the thermistor wires and all that. Because I believe that's got to come out at the same time, right? With that little grub screw on the top. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. So let me see if I can take that and undo that. In the comment section of this video, maybe you guys can uh, give me some pointers on how to do better videos, obviously with a better camera, because I'm just taking this with my uh, iPhone. So here's the heat sink. And I think we have to take the heat block and put the brake in there, right? There's a little thermistor screw. And I think pretty much of all the videos that I've seen, we're supposed to actually put this into the heat block first i would i would recommend it i guess because i think i've seen other videos where people try to put the nozzle in first and it didn't it didn't work out too well so if we just snug that up a little bit there and then i think we can take our nozzle right here and then we'll screw that into the bottom And snug that up with this little wrench and then I think once we get it all set up we can uh, we can um, heat it up and then tighten everything up and I believe yeah we'll do it this way I believe right let me see if I just set that down there for a second. Actually, I think they said to put that grub screw in beforehand. Now that I'm thinking about it, but I guess this might work. So if we snug that up. I got to get that into that little pocket, right? Like that. But I guess trying to, cause like I said, they, they have theirs on the left hand side. And I know most, most hot ends Got their stuff on the right. That thermistor wire is crazy. And 
Now, is this even gonna go back on the way I need it to? <clears throat> Probably not, eh? All right, well, we'll see. We'll see. But for right now, I guess I should probably try to start it up, eh? So let's see what we got. All right, well, I started it back up and we're gonna see here. Now I got a reading of, of 20 degrees, so I don't, I, there's not like a negative or anything. So I'm assuming that it's okay. I'm gonna heat this up real quick and then we're gonna see from there. I'm gonna heat it up to about, I don't know, 230 maybe. Or I think they recommend 235. So we'll do we'll do 235. And I'm gonna let that get up to to temp. And then uh hopefully it's okay. And once it gets up to temp, then I maybe can tighten everything down. I'll give it a final snug. And then I'll just re-level my bed. I also probably gotta do the PID tuning on it. I did uh I did it through printer face before on this printer just hooked up to my laptop and actually it worked out fairly well i was able to figure out printer face on how to do the pid tuning but i think on this sunlu they have through the control panel here i think i can automatically adjust it if i want to right now it's up to like 190 five degrees heats up pretty pretty fast the bed on these though they, they take a minute to heat up it only overshot it by like two degrees it jumped up to, to like 238 so it's coming back down now it's going to try to stabilize out I'm gonna start tightening some of these down here and we'll see I know these things don't take much, man, to, you know, you don't want to be turning on them too much. Let that cool down for a second, and then maybe I can uh, put this silicone sock on here. Let's see if I can do this without burning myself, eh? I guess that's it right there. It went on, so looks all right. Okay, let me see. Well, now I'm gonna need these screws. Maybe that is a tie around here. All right. Let's see if I can get this cover back on. That's supposed to pop back on there like that. Well, maybe not. Maybe this might work here. You got that one on. Huh? And, oh, you know what? Look at this trial and error, guys. I'll bet you guys right now are like, oh my God, you forgot to put the Capricorn tubing in. And I did. Look at there. So whenever you guys do this, don't do that, right? That's just supposed to go down in there a little bit, I think. Everybody's screaming right now. Oh my Put that clip on there. Make sure it's pushed all the way down in there. Wow, that actually is really nice, actually. Just like that. Okay, let's try this again. And honestly, like I said, I'm really new to 3D printing, so. And I really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. I'm having fun printing a bunch of things. And I'd imagine as the further I go in this, the better I'll probably get with videos, editing, all that stuff. So like I said, I'm glad you guys are bearing with me. And if you guys would just like, comment, subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Hopefully Michael Swiss don't cringe too bad at this, but I thank them for letting me get in contact with them to get their product and try it out well that looks like it so i'm going to re-level my bed and see what we got and see what happens um 
I also have a easy extruder that I'm going to be putting on in place of the the stock extruder. So stay tuned for that video. Hopefully my video skills will get a little bit better with time. So I appreciate you guys' patience and uh, thanks for watching.